once you've had a chance to add some content to your site, both in uh, dynamic posts as well as static content, uh, you may decide that the current look and feel of your public site is not uh, exactly what you're looking for. Um, you do have a variety of options with themes that we have pre-installed in this WordPress installation. Uh, here at the institution. Um, first I want to give you a quick glimpse of what my site currently looks like so you know what we're changing it from. Uh, so up here at the top there's a visit site. Um, I'm actually going to open that in a new window. Um, and so this is what my current site looks like. Um, I've got a big header picture here. Uh, all of my pages are listed down here. I've got archives and a variety of things on the right hand side. And then these are a, basically a list of all the posts that I've created. Um, so this is what I'm changing it from. This is actually the default uh, theme that starts off um, that starts installed with your with your newly created site. So if I go back into the dashboard here, on the left hand side there is um, a section called appearance. Uh, if it's not already expanded, go ahead and click on the arrow next to it. That will um, expand that for you. And the first item that you see is themes. Now depending on your permission level on the site that you're in, you may or may not have this ability. Um, uh, all administrators have the ability to do that, so if you're an administrator of your site, you can do this. Um, however, if you're just a contributor to the site, um, or even an editor, you don't have the ability to change the theme. Uh, somebody with a higher permission level would have to do that. So if I click on themes here, I can um, see what the current theme is on the site. And down here, it shows me a list of all the available themes. Um, there are maybe multiple pages, so you can click on the left or right facing arrows um, above this section to, um, to move between pages. But let's say I wanted to change my blog to this Eris theme. Um, I have two options down here. I can either activate it right away, or I can preview what my site may look like once I activate this. So if I click on preview, um, a window will appear that kind of shows me <clears throat> what my site would look like if this were activated on my site. So you'll see we've got some boxes along here on the right hand side. Um, that main header image is gone, but I do have a rotating box here that rotates through a couple of different posts. Um, and then I have some featured stories, I've got some editor picks, latest headlines. So this is more for a magazine style layout where you've got a variety of different categories being highlighted on the main page. Um, if I, if I know that this is the theme that I want to go with, there's an activate button up here at the top right hand corner. Um, if I wanted to exit this page, I could just click on the X button at the top left hand corner. Um, if I'm ready to, to go ahead and activate this, I can just click on the activate link here on the themes page. And then once it's done, um, basically it takes you to the Eris options. Uh, every theme is going to have different options that you can set based on the theme and what the developer of this theme has allowed the users to do. So you'll see I have options with RSS feeds, um, how many columns I want the footer to be in. Um, I also have a variety of tabs at the top here that allow me to edit uh, the home page, uh, which kind of posts appear in that, that rotating slideshow, um, as well as the other categories within that magazine style layout. So every theme is going to be different as far as what options you have, um, but that's how you go about changing the theme um, on, your, uh, on your WordPress site.